Hey there, Spider RT owners. Brandon here with SlingMods.com, and today we have our rear saddlebag LED reflector kit for the 2020 and newer Spider RT models. The saddlebag LED reflector kit we offer for the 2010 to 2019 Spider RT models have been really good sellers for us. But as you can see in 2020, Canham completely updated the Spider RT design. So we went back to the drawing board with our friends over at Trick LED and are proud to announce our saddlebag LED reflector kit for the 2020 and up Spider RT models. This saddlebag reflector kit features LED illumination that'll take your boring OE reflectors from this to this. Now, for those of you that park outside at night, We've kept the reflective properties in place with the DOT style reflective lenses so that when your spider ignition is off and parked, they'll still reflect light just like the OE reflectors did. These saddlebag LED reflectors increase your likeliness of being seen while out on the open road and include OE style connectors for a mostly plug and play installation. Now follow me as I walk you through the installation process. Now we're going to be doing the installation today on our 2020 RT base model. If you have the 2020 RT limited model, you will have a rear trunk in this location here. If you have the limited model, you will need to reference your manual on how to unlock, remove, and unplug the rear trunk prior to installation. Start by pressing down on your key and turning it clockwise so that you can unlock and lift up the driver's seat. Then reach your hand underneath and back to release the two clips holding the back seat in place and just lift it up and off. Now carefully lift up the rear deck panel and tilt it up and back to unhook it from the front. Next, open your left hand side saddlebag door and unscrew these four plastic screws. Now these are really just push pins so you don't have to unscrew them all the way, just enough to release the pressure on the clip. Then use a 10 millimeter wrench and T30 Torx to remove this bottom nut and bolt. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to release the door shock so that you can unscrew these two T25 Torx screws and then this one underneath the front of the saddlebag. Next use an eight millimeter socket to unscrew this silver screw on top and then unscrew this T20 Torx screw next to it so that you can remove this cover piece and unscrew this T15 Torx underneath. Now carefully unclip and remove the panel. And lift the panel up and over the antenna. And then do the same thing for the other side. Unscrew the four plastic screws. The bottom nut and bolt, as well as the one underneath at the front of the bag. Then remove the shock and two screws underneath it. Followed by the two on top so that you can remove this plastic cover and unscrew the small screw underneath and then carefully pull off that panel. Next, take a T30 Torx and remove these two screws with washers and then a 5.5 millimeter socket to unscrew these two screws so that you can carefully pull back the top of the rear panel just enough to expose the taillight harness underneath. Now unplug the taillight harness on both the right and left side of the bike and plug in the new harness from the kit. Now carefully pry off the stock reflector. You can even use a heat gun or hair dryer to soften up the adhesive, making it easier to peel off. Then one up the new LED reflector over top and mark where you'll need to drill a hole for the wires to pass through 
and then using a drill bit big enough for the wires, carefully drill through the door. Then pass those wires through the door. You can even add some protective wire limbing to keep it clean looking. And then run that through this hole next to the door hinge and up to the taillight harness. Next, cut and strip the ends of the LED wires and crimp on the bullet connectors. Now take the alcohol prep pad and clean the surface area of the reflector and let that dry for a minute. Before going back through and wiping the same surface area with the primer wipe. And then once that's dry, peel off the protective backing tape from the LED reflector. Line it up so that it's nice and straight. And then press down firmly to adhere into place. Next, add a dab of dielectric grease to your bullet connectors. And plug in the red wire from your LED to the orange wire on the harness. And then the black wire from the LED to the black wire on the harness. You will notice that the harness we plugged into the bike has several different color wires on it, many of which will not be used for this installation. We will only be using the orange and black wires on that harness for this particular installation. The other wires on this harness will be used for other lighting mods we offer on our website. Now turn on your ignition to test the LED to make sure it works. And if it turns on, go ahead and take some electrical tape and tape up all your connectors. Then simply repeat that same process for the other side. Remove the stock reflector. Mark and drill a hole for the LED wires. Feed the wires through and add some protective wire limbing if you want before running that through the hole next to the door hinge and up to the taillight harness. Then cut and strip the LED wires, crimp on the bullet connectors, add a dab of dielectric grease, plug in the red LED wire to the orange wire on the harness, and then the black wire from the LED to the black wire on the harness. Again, we will only be using the orange and black wires on the harness we plugged into the bike. The other wire colors will be unused for this lighting mod. Now clean the surface area of the reflector with an alcohol prep pad and let that dry for a minute before going back through and wiping the same surface area with a primer wipe. And once that's dry, peel off the protective backing tape from the LED reflector, line it up so that it's nice and straight, and then press down firmly to adhere into place. Now test it to make sure it works. Then go back through and wrap all your connectors with some electrical tape. Next, all you have to do is tuck in the wiring and reinstall all the hardware and panels in the reverse order you removed them. And there you have it folks. I think it's safe to say that these look pretty damn good once installed. Now if lighting up the rear end of your Spider RT is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to SleekMods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab a kit for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Next time.